Hey, this is Steve Halleck with TikToking.com doing another video review today. Uh, as you can see, I've got a really nice uh, paddock chronograph to show you guys. Uh, but before I get started, I have to mention definitely subscribe to the channel and also check out www.tiktoking.com for a bunch of super cool watches, video reviews. Uh, this watch and others are for sale on there and uh, a lot of uh, chatting and writing about uh, all sorts of things, watches and art and technology and cars and, you know, all the things that most of us like. So check it out and let's get into this. So here we've got a Patek Philippe 5170. Uh, this is the uh, new chronograph, manual wine chronograph from Patek using their new in-house movement. Um, and, you know, what's really interesting about this watch is it, it hasn't been super well received by the market. Uh, at first it was very hot like every paddock and there was like a wait list and craziness for them. Uh, but very quickly uh, you could find them at, at pretty good prices and they were around. And um, now it's sort of a slept on watch and I don't understand it totally. I'm not sure what anybody wanted out of a paddock chronograph uh, beyond this because I, th I think it's a really gorgeous watch and you'll see the movement. The movement's spectacular. Um, so at this point, I think it's a pretty underrated, undervalued piece, uh, and people are going to wake up to it soon. But let's get into it. Uh, it's a very classic two-register chronograph. This one is in yellow gold, um, and it's got a, um, a doctor's scale. So uh, with this, you can measure uh, heart heartbeat. You basically count. Uh, you know, if you're taking somebody's pulse, you start the the chronograph and count here it says uh, it's graded for 15 pulsations so you count for 15 beats and you stop it and depending on how fast those 15 beats happen you know obviously if it's 15 seconds then you know that it's 60 beats per second and that's how you can calculate a heart rate uh, very classic chronograph um, counter um, and the watch again is uh, sort of harkens back to the great vintage chronographs, which again is what I would think that everybody would want from Paddock. Um, why not go back into the the classic stuff and pull out kind of the best of the best and, and remake it with great movements? Um, so that's what they've done here. Uh, you've got uh, just the 12 and the 6 in Roman numerals, and otherwise you've got these nice uh, sticks. Uh, you've got a uh, blued hand here for the chronograph and a gold hand for the running seconds. And let's give it a wind so we get that seconds moving. This is one of the smoothest winding watches I've ever felt, by the way. Um, you almost can't feel it wind. If I couldn't hear it, um, I wouldn't even know that it was clicking at all, uh, which actually feels quite nice. And I'll show you the, the chronograph working as well. Very nice chrono feel. It's got a lot of play before it engages, so you go and then a very... Um, solid click into that chronograph. It feels um, feels very nice, very luxurious. Um, so you can stop it and reset. And the reset is smooth as butter. And the reason why is this movement. So this, man, I love this paddock movement. And again, I feel like it's a little bit slept on, like even the um, the new 5270s, the perpetual calendar chronographs that use the same base and this watch, um, they none of them seem to be getting as much play as the older Lamania based ones, and I just don't get it because this movement is is prettier in every way, in my opinion. It's it's uh, it's engineered excellently. It's uh, designed amazingly. Uh, I love this piece here and the swoops, and then you've got the covered column wheel with the black polish um, and to me it's it's just a great a great movement and at the prices that you can pick these up right now on I just can't imagine that uh, that it's gonna last like that forever until people uh, you know get out of the past and realize that this is better in every way than the Lamania pieces and uh, you know wake up but I'm sure you guys will murder me in the comments over that stuff all you uh, Patek purists but that is my opinion so uh yeah there you have the movement uh i'll show it to you with the uh with the chrono 
activating and everything so you can see what goes on. So that's start. And then we can stop it here. And then we're going to reset it. There you go. Uh, so let me show it to you on the wrist. Again, very, very cool proportions of this watch. It's not a small watch by any means, but it's thin and the yellow gold and the kind of classic styling still give it a very um, classic look. I think this would be an amazing watch with a suit or also with like just jeans and a t-shirt. I would love to wear this. So there you go. Fits on the wrist, great. Um, it's fairly light. The case is not, it's definitely not a heavy case. For a gold watch, it feels very light, um, which, uh, you know, depending on your personal preference, can be good or bad. Um, but, it, you know, compared to a, a, a platinum longer or something, this thing feels like a, a steel watch. Um, and Paddock always does these very narrow-ended straps. So uh, this one, I think, is it's either 20 or 21 millimeters here. But they end down in these 16 millimeter things, so you've got these these sort of thin buckles. Um, but again, you've got the the paddock cross here, and this nice yellow gold deployant buckle, which it comes on standard. Um, so this is the paddock uh, 5170J, uh, their newest uh, chronograph, manual wind chronograph. I think it's a killer watch, and uh, if you're in the market for something like this, uh, you should definitely check it out. Uh, this one is available right now on TikToking.com. Uh, as well as a lot of other cool stuff. So check me out. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon.